Cement is applied to the sanded areas of the cable and the hood. And the hood is sealed to the cable. This is done by first applying the specified layers of insulating tape. The insulating tape is followed with stress control tape. And finally, rubber tape is applied to provide a tracking resistant covering over the other tapes. The process is repeated to seal the second and third hoods to the cable. After the hoods are installed, the next step that the workers perform here is to install the connector lug. First, they measure the inside of the lug. They transfer the measurement to the end of the cable and mark the cable. They cut the insulation and remove the insulation in the conductor stress control layer to expose the bare conductor. Next, the conductor is taped. The purpose of the tape is to protect the conductor while the insulation is tapered. Tapering or penciling the insulation is done very carefully so that the conductor is not nicked or damaged. The insulation is penciled so that there will be a smooth transition between it and insulating tape that will be applied later. The penciled end is sanded smooth so that there will be no air gaps when the insulating tape is applied. Then the protective tape is removed from the conductor and the conductor is thoroughly cleaned. The connector lug is placed onto the conductor. Care is taken to make sure that it's lined up with the mark made earlier so that when the cable is raised up to the bus, the cable connector lines up with the bus connector. Then the connector is installed securely onto the conductor using a compression tool. After making sure that the lug compressions are smooth and have no sharp edges, the lug, conductor, and taper insulation are then wrapped with an insulating tape, followed by stress control tape, and finished off with a rubber tape for tracking protection. When the termination is completed, the tin copper wire braid and the neutral wires are carefully threaded through the plastic bushing at the bottom end of the termination. And the bushing is slid up into position. Finally, the cable is raised into place. The bushing is installed in its mounting bracket. The cable is held in place by a support grip. The copper braid and neutral wires are connected to the system ground. And the termination connector is bolted to the bus connector. Thank you.